And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, in the flesh. And I haven't done one of these videos in a while because 2K21 died super fast, and then they haven't really done it for 2K22 yet because it's only been out a week. But 2K really couldn't help themselves. They decided to uh, ratchet up the teasing of Friday's content a night early, which I didn't think they were going to do this until at least like a few weeks into the game's lifespan, but they decided to do it the first weekend that we got content that didn't come out, you know, the day the game came out. So, interesting. In addition to that, I wanted to touch on this because they did something this week that uh, they haven't ever done. I mean, they've only had limited in the game for one year, but they didn't do this at all last year, which is they actually teased the limited requirements a day in advance. So, limited week two requires an Evo card that has been Evoed at least once. Now, I don't foresee them doing this for an extended period of time or even doing this very often period i think the only reason they did this was because you know you have to evo a player so they wanted to like prep people for that but either way i would really enjoy if they kept doing this so i just wanted to say this is sick i'm guessing the rest of the community has the same yeah there's Derek jones jr <laughs> mason plumley he's kind of quick though yeah no you're not right time for boucher yep that's that's what's up y'all moving diffy right now <laughs> it, it's true i'm 30 years old dude you're not gonna catch me saying diffy it's just not gonna happen but either way this is something i hope 2k continues to do maybe not every week but at least like when we have requirements like this it would be nice to know especially if it requires grinding in any fashion it'd be really nice to know about them before the actual day of limited because that's always a pain but either way they started off the claw drops at 8 a.m pacific time tomorrow now I faced a little backlash about this on Twitter myself. I said to temper expectations and relax because Kawhi is not going to be that crazy good. Look, we are one week into the game's lifespan. One. We are, well, technically we're not even a week in. It, we're not a week in until tomorrow. Well, midnight tonight, I guess. But, like, this is not going to be an endgame Kawhi. Now, look, after I talk about all three cards that they announced, I'm going to go over to 2KDB, and I'm going to review their counterparts from around the same time last year and kind of see what we can expect badge wise but look this Kawhi will probably have like three maybe four Hoff badges at the absolute most probably like three uh, maybe like 10 11 gold badges and a bunch of bronze and silver badges right let's not get ahead of ourselves he'll probably have like an 83 ball which is fine with Kawhi's release but he's not going to have any shooting badges outside of maybe like catch and shoot and like corner specialists which are fine look Inevitably, he's still going to be one of the best small forwards in the game. That's, like, not up for debate. But, like, we're not getting an endgame Kawhi Leonard. You know, we're not even getting a Kawhi Leonard that's as good as the all-star spotlight sim Kawhi Leonard last year. And that card sucked when it came out. And I guarantee that's about how good this Kawhi is going to be. No, it's actually going to be way worse because that one had nine Hoff badges and, like, 30 golds. Hot zones are probably going to be the same. So, like I said, we're going to go look at that afterwards. Then... 30 minutes later, D. Rose is coming to my team. Who wants him? Me. I want him. Badly. Derrick Rose is easily going to be the fastest card, or at least the fastest point guard in the game, especially with 2K's renewed focus on making smaller players faster this year. Uh, examples of this see Devontae... Wait, is it is it him? Devontae Graham? Yeah, Devontae Graham, super fast. Um, there's someone else that I'm... Darren Collison would be another guy who's like really fast and small, so... He's going to be ridiculous. He's going to dunk over everybody. If you're someone who uses the dunk timing, Derrick Rose is going to be a godsend. Like, he's literally going to be so good. No one, that's just wrong. That's just straight wrong. <laughs> People on Twitter are so funny, dude. Bro, I want you. People on Twitter are wild. But Derrick Rose is going to be super good. Now, I'll talk about him and his counterpart from around the same time last year as well. We all remember him in 2K21. He was insane. He's probably not going to be much different than that card, if we're being honest. So we'll look at him as well. And then this one. Shoot with Dikembe Mutombo tomorrow. So, look. I've already seen a bunch of content creators kind of lose their mind on uh, Twitter already. Like, I'm guaranteed there's going to be a bunch of them up here. Yep, there you go. Like, it's not endgame, dude. Like, <sighs> I don't know. Also, 
if he's able to shoot threes, that's definitely going to hurt the game a little bit. But if he's not able to ball handle, that's going to be a different thing. Like, I, I don't know. We're going to see what's up, but they have a real potential to blow power <laughs> balancing out of the water with this Dikembe. But either way, we'll go over to 2KDB and kind of look at some of the contemporaries for these guys from last year that came out around the same time. Now, granted, this is the second week of the season. By the way, it's definitely a flash set, by the way. So flash D-Rose, flash Kawhi, probably both diamonds, or Derrick Rose will be an amethyst. It kind of depends. And then Dikembe will easily be a diamond as well. So it's probably going to be diamond Dikembe, and I would say maybe diamond Kawhi, and then maybe amethyst Derrick Rose or diamond Derrick Rose kind of remains to be seen. Look, the flash sets are always fire. They are kind of the most slept on sets in 2K every single year. And I think this is going to be like, it's going to be a good one. So let's go look at 2K DB and look at some of the stuff from last year around the same time. All right. So, I mean, if you remember the beginning of 2K21, right? I mean, they're kind of blowing out uh, power balancing out of the water right off the bat. Um, looking at Derrick Rose, though, Derrick Rose is going to be very, very similar like, I don't think there's really anyone that's going to argue with me. Where is he? Is he a 90? He might be a 90 overall. I can't remember. There he is. Okay. So Derek Rose, when he came out, he had one Hoff badge, 23 golds, one silver, five bronze. We could easily see this exact carbon copy card come out. Uh, I don't think that's really completely out of the question. Like, yeah, in the 90 speed for sure with like a 73 speed ball or speed ball. <laughs> Yeah, no, I hope he doesn't have a 73 speed ball. I really, really don't. Um, 73 three ball. And uh, I don't know. Like, he maybe he has these badges. Maybe he can get some of these, like, upgraded or whatever. I don't personally think he's really going to be that crazy. I think they are going to bump up his Hoff badges just a little bit. Like, instead of just quick first step, maybe they leave him with this exact same card. I wouldn't be shocked at all if they dropped this exact same card. Would you be shocked? I wouldn't. Like, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I really think the card's going to be, like, identical, like, to that card. If he's a diamond, he'll have a couple more Hoff badges, but other than that, like, super identical. As far as the other two cards, that's actually crazy, because remember, we got Clutch this time last year. Like, that's what we got. We got Clutch packs. And, like, these are pretty not tight in comparison. Like, in comparison, these are not good. Like... Kristaps. Damn, we got Kristaps on the 18th. When did we get Tim Duncan? Because Tim Duncan's kind of how I think Dikembe Mutombo is going to play. I do not remember when we got Tim Duncan. It was like a while, though. This might be like bad. Like, this might be pretty bad. When did we get Tim Duncan, dude? Like, I honestly do not remember. That's the Blake update. All right, so it's, it's probably back here somewhere. Okay, that's when we got Stockton. So I'm curious when we got Timmy D. There we go. Okay, so we didn't get Timmy D until October 23rd last year, right? And that's kind of how I think this Takembe Mutombo card will be like. Maybe down to three, two or three Hoff badges, and definitely down in golds, probably to like 14, 15, and then a bunch of bronze and silvers. But stats wise probably pretty similar right he's going to be kind of sluggish a little bit slow 65 66 sounds about right um 93 pointer for sure 90 mid 90 shot close i think they'll temper his post abilities um and if they don't my god it's gonna be a nightmare but yeah he probably will have like hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame corner specialist bronze uh limitless you know if he has dead eye and sniper that's cool and blinders but i don't think he's going to have any of those they're probably going to be addable and as far as the playmaking badges he's probably just going to have post ones and then he'll have some defensive badges like look let's not get it twisted he's going to be the best center in the game there's no if ands or buts about it but if this is what 2k is doing this early that's scary like that's super scary now to look at Kawhi. Now, the reason I have the possessed packs up is because we got a Kawhi Leonard right around this time last year. Well, this was at October 30th is when we got Kawhi, but he was like a lower tiered card in the set. So this actually makes total sense as far as like what this card is going to be like. 
And if you guys remember, this Kawhi wasn't really that good when he came out last year. Like He was very okay, very solid. He still had a good jump shot, uh, played good defense. Hot zones were really solid, but overall, this card wasn't great. Now, I think his speed is going to be even lower than an 80. I wouldn't be shocked to see it at like 78, 79, which isn't much, but something to think about. His shot three-pointer, probably right around 79 to 82, somewhere in there. Mid-range, probably right around 85, 87. Uh, perimeter defense will probably be down a little bit. It'll probably be down like 88, 87 would be my guess. So some of this stuff is going to be down with Kawhi. Badge-wise, it's looking pretty right. I'm sure his uh, shooting badges are probably going to be a little bit lower, right? He'll have like silver catch-and-shoot, gold catch-and-shoot, something like that. Won't be able to get like either of the range badges. Corner specialist, that was a big hindrance on this card last year was he couldn't have corner specialist, which like he only played small forward, power forward, so he kind of needed that. If they do something like that again, he won't be that overpowered. I'm not saying I want them to do that, but it was nice that he didn't. And then he wasn't able to get like a lot of these dribbling badges and quick first step and stuff like that. So it gave this card like some limitations. Now, as far as the badge count, I'm sure they take some of these gold badges, throw them in the silver, but 17 golds really isn't that crazy. I mean, Chris Paul isn't too far off of this badge count and we just got him the other day. You know what I mean? So like, let's let's take a look at Chris Paul because I'm curious what his actual badge count is because that's probably more what we're gonna see here. So let's let's do Chris Paul. Yeah, three twenty six, seventeen eight. Yeah, it's probably similar to this. Chris Paul himself was very good, is very good, I should say. So I wouldn't be shocked to see a lot of the cards come out. We should have known with Chris Paul and Tim Duncan. Like that's when we should have known things were up. Yeah, Tim Duncan, this is exactly the badge count that Dikembe is going to have. Like, no joke. Also, like, I know this is going to sound weird, but don't count out 2K putting Dikembe behind a lock-in like Allen Houston. Like, don't count it out, man, because you just never really know with them. They might do it. I don't think they will, but it's possible. Now, what other cards are we going to be seeing? That is completely, I have no idea. Like, truly, I have no idea. It's a flash set, so, like, I don't know. We'll probably see some base set guys in the mix. So, like, let's scroll down. And it'll probably be someone, like, super weird. I just dropped a piece of metal. That's cool. Uh, you know what? Let me just, like, guess some stuff. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Sapphire Sam Perkins. Um, Ruby Anthony Morrow for a budget beast. Amethyst cards. Uh, who's an amethyst that they, they would throw out here? Robert Pack. Robert Pack, yeah, sure. That sounds like an amethyst they would put out. Uh, let's do Robert Pack and then some other amethyst. Uh, amethyst, uh, Luis Scola, right? Or Amethyst Drew Holiday. Somebody like that. I could even see, like, Dennis Scott. I don't know who Shandon Anderson is, but uh, sure, why not? We'll see him, too. Uh, these are just random guys that they could put out there. You know, there's probably going to be, like, Maybe a Sapphire. I remember last year, the Flash sets, I don't think they had a Sapphire, period. I think it was just Ruby and up the entire time. So I wouldn't be shocked to see just straight up Rubies. Um, maybe like a Ruby. They love Rod Strickland for some reason. So like, I'm not really. Yeah, Rod Strickland, they love him. So you know what? Rod Strickland. Sure. Why not? Uh, Rod Strickland, you know, Brian Russell. Kendall Gill, that'd be sick. Actually, I love Kendall Gill, so that'd be pretty tight. Uh, yo, let me get my boy. Yeah, let me get James Posey out here. Give me, give me James Posey. This Dennis Smith Jr. is so overpowered. I just wanted to like clarify that. I think he's like the only gold card with actual badges in this game, and it's like not fair how good this card is. Is wanted that to be put out there. He can do literally anything. Like he's better than uh, majority of the Sapphire point guards in this game. Yeah, I don't know. We could really see any of these guys. I mean, uh, I don't know who exactly we could see, but any of these guys are up for it. I mean, it's Flash. Or at least I, I hypothesize that it's going to be Flash. So anyone's up for discussion. We could see anybody. Shout out to Rex Chapman. Hopefully we see like Rex Chapman or Kirk Heinrich or something. That'd be pretty sick. This is the time when those guys are very useful. So... As always, it's been your boy Cheap Lutes, and I will see you guys in the next one. And you know you will see me tomorrow morning opening more packs than I should, which is probably not a good idea, but, you know, I'll be here. So, 
Have a good day, everybody. Stay hyped for tomorrow. Let me know in the comments what you think that we're going to see tomorrow. Like, what, what lower tier guys do you think are coming? Name anybody. I don't care. Who do you want to see? You know what? That's a better question. Who would you like to see in the Flash set tomorrow? Like, which players would you like to see? Let me know. Doesn't matter. They can be from films. If you want to say Junior Battle from Coach Carter, go ahead. I don't care. Peace out, guys.